Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. Today I'm gonna give you my top 10 most important fragrance rules to keep in mind. So let's go. Rule number one, don't spray the fragrance in the air and just walk through the scent cloud. I know a lot of people still do this and I've talked about this topic in previous videos. But just to make it clear guys, apply your fragrance on your body on heated spots like the wrists and your neck and your chest and maybe also on your clothes if you're going to very crowded environments like clubs and bars, that's totally fine. Rule number two, know your fragrance. Know how strong your fragrance projects when you have it on your body. Know how heavy it projects to other people around you and then you apply fragrance when you know your fragrance. Is it a very heavy sharp scent? Is it a very more, is it a more rounded type of sweet scent? Can you apply more, more sprays on your body or less sprays on your body? Test it out, start with a few sprays, then amp up your spray count when you know how the fragrance cope with your body heat and cope with your type of skin and your oils on your skin. Rule number three. Different fragrances for different occasions. You know guys, back in the days you usually just had one fragrance that was your signature scent that you always have on you. But nowadays the game has changed. We have so many different fragrances to choose from. Really, really great fragrances for different occasions. Some fragrances are good for clubbing, some fragrances are good for the office and some fragrances are good for everything in between. At least have like three fragrances if you just started out and getting interested in this fragrance game to have in different occasions. Maybe one for the summer, one for the more club environments, dating and stuff like that. And maybe one office scent that you can have like, like as a daily scent for you when you go to work, when you go to school and so on. Rule number four, store it right. It's very important that you store your fragrance in a cold and dark environment so it can last much longer. Don't store it in directly sunlight, don't store it in a bathroom, because then it get exposed to this subtle temperature shifts when you're taking a shower and stuff like that. So keep that in mind, guys, if you want your fragrance to last longer. Rule number five, expensive doesn't mean better. Today, there's a lot of great fragrances for a very low cost out there. So if you are on a budget, maybe you're a student, or you just don't want to spend a lot of money on perfumes, you have some great alternatives. Some alternatives in that ballpark could be Mont Blanc, Legend or Individual, Bentley for Men Intense, we have CK1 or CK Shock. So there's a lot out there guys, but these are just some recommendations if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but still want to smell great. Rule number six, apply fragrance when you're fresh. Hello guys, don't forget to always take a shower before you apply fragrance. Because it doesn't matter how good your fragrance smells, if you smell like shit, remember that. Don't apply fragrance on a sweaty and stinking body. It's not gonna hide your bad body odor guys. It's just gonna make you smell even worse. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Always be fresh and clean when you apply your fragrance. Rule number seven, try before buy. It's very important that you try out the fragrance before you buy it. This is especially important if you're going to buy a really expensive fragrance and you don't know how it's going to cope with your skin and how it's going to project. Even though it's very good that you watch other YouTube reviewers in the fragrance community that review fragrances and give you their opinion about it, it's not sure that you're going to like it just because they say it's a good fragrance. Order some samples if you're going to buy a really expensive fragrance. Some good sites are, for example, Nutino or Fragrance X. On Fragrance X, you get free shipping if you apply a promotion code, which I'm gonna write here down below. Rule number eight EDP, not always the strongest. This is just a basic measurement of how high the oil concentration is in a specific fragrance. I own a lot of fragrances that the EDT version, the Eau de Toilette, is much stronger than the EDP. It's not always that the Eau de Parfum is the strongest fragrance or the strongest projection. Don't be blinded by the text on the bottle, just try it out. Sometimes the ED EDT is much better, much stronger and longer lasting than the EDP. Rule number nine, don't overdo it. Don't spray so much that the people can't stand you. I know it's hard sometimes when you have a new fragrance and you feel like you really want to smell a lot. It could be overwhelming for a lot of people. So try out your fragrance first 
in, in more um, friendly environments that your friends can tell you how does it smell, how does it project. So when you're going on that specific date with that cute girl you really like, you smell just perfect. Not too little and not too strong. Rule number 10, match your fragrance with your personality. I wouldn't give a very strong, very uh, masculine, mature scent like Fahrenheit to an 18 year old because I know he can't wear it. It's not a youthful type of scent, it's not rounded at all, it's very boozy, it's very masculine, it's very mature. I also wouldn't give a, a fragrance like Versace Eros to the older gentleman who maybe is a CEO on, in a big company or very dressed up all the time and doing his business at Wall Street. It doesn't mix well, guys. So keep that in mind if you're gonna give someone a present. Ask the girl or the guy in the counter, how is this fragrance? What is the age group that this would fit good? And so on and so forth, guys. All right, guys, so these were my 10 important fragrance rules to keep in mind when you go through life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.